everybody. Hello, hello. Let's try this again, shall we? Uh, right, so... We're 47 minutes late from the actual proper start of the stream because of the fact that I got hype, I got distracted and hyper fixated on a troubleshooting thing about half an hour ago and that took half an hour and then immediately after it finally got solved my internet died so we're back we're hopefully going strong and I will probably continue to six to make up for it there will be an ad starting in about five seconds so we're going good anyway uh welcome 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 to crimson plays assassin's creed liberation uh the hd remaster that came with assassin's creed 3 remaster um and uh we're kidding we're getting pretty close to the end here guys um before we get started, I want to remind everybody that I have a Patreon down here in the link tree. If you go to my link tree, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, the link tree will be down in the video description. Um, but if you go to the link tree on screen, uh, you can, you'll see a bunch of, a bunch of links. I probably have too many links on there. I don't care. Um, to various different things for me, social medias, uh, where you can follow me, Discord. Uh, my Patreon and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, if you want to, if you want to uh, support me more directly, it's uh, you can go to my Patreon. Uh, and currently, I only have the one dollar a month tier. Um, I'm hoping to have more eventually. Um, I just I haven't I haven't had time. I haven't had time. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Um. But yeah, also second announcement, there will not be a stream on Wednesday. I will say this again later on in the, the stream because there's currently a three minute ad in progress there uh, on the actual live stream. If you're watching this live, uh, there is currently an ad in progress. Um, but uh, yeah, there will be no stream on Wednesday because I got shit I got to do. <sighs> <laughs> Anyway, uh, let's get into this finally, shall we? Uh, all right. So you guys may real remember that there was, I was doing some running around in, in the bayou last week, um, and was <coughs> encountering three uh, smuggler camps in this area that were glitched. They were not there. The chests had already been raided, but they weren't being uh, the camps weren't being registered as completed. Um, <clears throat> and uh, anyway, long story short, I fixed that glitch and have completed those things. And so we shall take care of it from yeah. <laughs> waiting for the ad to be up so that I can say hi to Yvonne again and thank her for her lovely help with the troubleshooting aspect of my first attempt at the stream today Mackendall's secret stash location is revealed in New Orleans and even if it wasn't I know exactly where it is however you can't get it until it's been revealed <laughs> Twenty seconds left on the ad. Thirteen, twelve, eleven. Actually, it's nine, eight, seven, six, five. Welcome back, Yvonne B. Good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, thank you for all your help earlier. Um, my internet. I I've decided that my internet was like. 
Yo, you just spent 40 minutes on a fucking troubleshooting stream. So I'm going to give you an excuse to just start over from scratch. All right, locate Mackinell's secret stash. Hey, don't worry about me, man. That, don't worry about me. Uh, anyway, how have you been, Yvonne? And again, thank you for your help earlier. Tired for no reason. I find that when you're tired, there's always a reason. Even if it doesn't feel like there is one. Out of the search, I'm not. Shush. So one of the things that I have yet to do on these streams is actually um, read through the uh, journal entries from Jean, um, Aveline's mother. And the reason I haven't done that yet is because I wanted to have them all. And... Uh, then we just didn't have time. So after I get Mackendall's stash, that's the first, that's the thing I'm going to do. Oh, okay. Now that the ad is over, actually, while I'm thinking about it, oops, um, the, uh, announcement I have for this week is that I have no, there will be no stream on Wednesday because I have shit I gotta do and I will not have, and it's stuff that has to happen while I am streaming, or in my normal stream time, I mean. You would think it would show up on my television. Would he have put it on a roof? I feel like he would have put it in the ground. It. Yeah, there will be no watchdog stream on Wednesday. Other than that, should be a more or less normal week.
Oh, let me look at my... Nope, that's not it. Memory. Oh, right. Fuck. Okay. Fine. Fine. Just says locate the secret stash. Okay, I'm spending way too long on this. Give me a second. All right. I'm looking for this, this, and that. One that. Now number two, that. Okay. All right. Now I have the... Aha! Okay, we go in. Here. There it is. 5,000 money. That's a lot, actually. Especially for... Well, doesn't matter. Anyway. Um... Okay. Now then. Uh... We want to go over here. Hold on just a second. I need to check something. All right. Okay, before we actually get running around, let me check one thing. Okay. So there is a Citizen E that I need to go kill at some point. <clears throat> I'm in the wrong section. I want inventory. Jean's diary pages. All right, let's read. Let's read some... Hey, Yvonne. Are you free to pop into the Discord? Why is there no game audio? I'll bet I know why there's no game audio. Is it this button? Hey, look, I forgot to change the game audio settings when I changed the settings. But Yvonne, are you free to pop into the Discord? Oh, you're in the Discord. Okay, hi. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen. Okay. And because you are a black femme, oh, for God's sake. <laughs> I would appreciate it. You can say no to this, but I would appreciate it if you, if you read uh, these um, journal entries. Okay. In your best uh dialect of the region and era mm. if you can't it, that's option all of it's optional if you don't want to do it you don't have to i'm not going to attempt the dialect and or accent honestly you would probably do it better than a lot of people in this game <laughs> well that's not the point <laughs> okay It's okay, it doesn't need to be perfect. Today, M gives me book and pencil for practice lessons. And also, uh, who, do we know who M and A are? Um, yes, but they have a big reveal um, in, in the journals. The concept is that she's, this is her journey through learning how to read and write. And yeah. so she doesn't quite know how to spell their names oh. yet. Okay. And so she just knows that they start with these letters. Okay. M gives me book and pencil for practice lessons. A, also. M say book is rare, but better than tree 
dancing in the sand. It is gift because we learn well. He is kind. I must keep book hidden. Books not allowed for slaves. All right, give me just a second because I need to turn you up. I turned you down for D&D because like I was getting a bit of, of um, sensory overload because everybody was loud on Discord for no reason. Like mm -hmm. not even y'all's fault, my volume settings, no matter what I put them on, were just fucking loud. And that was probably because of settings being fucked up. All right, so that was page one, mm -hmm. page two. They're all short and okay. there's about 30 of them. Okay. Today, A took my hand, but he dropped it when B came near and laughed. He said M will be angry. He say A will be training. Should be training. Uh, A should be training. Training for what? I do not like B or trust him. He is rude. My fingers had blisters from scrubbing, and my knees were my knees was bruised from the floor. Grammar. Mistress L, yeah. Mistress L tells me stop, or I will lower my price. If I am ugly or lame, no one will want me at auction. If my price is low, she will beat me. Mistress C told me to pay her no mind. I follow A and B to a secret meeting with M. I know I should not, but I am so worried for A. He is not the same after he meets with M. Now I know his training is for the Brotherhood. M says we must take it for ourselves, that we must fight and not be afraid to die or kill for our freedom, like A. Did A kill? For what freedom? Now I wonder. What will M ask of me in return for book and lessons? So at that, at that point, through context clues, we are able to glean that she's talking about Makandal, who was the assassin mentor for Agate and Baptiste. Mm. Um, Agate being Aveline's assassin mentor. And Baptiste being the guy, uh, the his rival who went, who turned Templar, who pretended to be Macandal, and then we had to kill him because he was doing Templar bullshit. Um, um. yeah. Ag Agate has never actually conf affirmed that he knows Aveline's mother, at least not in the game. Uh, this is the only way we know that, uh, Aveline, how Aveline's mother knows about the Templar uh, assassin stuff because when we meet her in Mexico she talks about it and knows about it and we're like how do you know about it and she's like I'm not t uh, I'll tell you later or something like that and so the only way to truly know about it is to read these diary pages which is why we're doing that um, so she got mixed in with Macandal, Agate and Baptiste A asked me to join M's brotherhood. He says it is only way we can be together. He does not tell me why. He does not know I spied before. B says I will never join because I am a traitor. A hits him. I do not know what to do. I love A, but brotherhood scares me. Which is fair. It's a lot of very scary bullshit. A gives me herbs from M. He wants me to add it to wine for the family at dinner. I will not. Mistress L is cruel, but I will not harm Mistress C and the children. A goes. He say if I do not join M's brotherhood, we will never speak again. Tracks for Agate and his behavior. It's always his way or the highway. He's very hardline. That's one of the reasons why he and Aveline butt heads throughout the game. I have to confess somewhere, so I confess here. When A left, I took something from him. Something the Brotherhood needs. Something it would kill for. I do not know why it is important, but I fear that A and B and M will know it was me. But it is too late for them. Even if they kill me, they will not find it. Mistress L says auction is next week. It is wrong to think so, but I wish it was sooner. 
My hope is I am bought and sent to a far place. I do not care about my future. Only I must go from this place and the eyes of the Brotherhood. At auction, they pull back my lips and press my teeth. They lift my skirts and squeeze my legs. I sing and explain proper method of washing linen. Some do not like my speech. So I cover it and speak only roughly, as if M teaches me nothing. None want me. I fear Mistress L's whip. At last a man comes near. They call him Monsieur de G. He is quiet and does not look at me. Mistress L tells me, says he will take me to La Louisiane. I am glad to leave this place. I am allowed to bring only my clothes, but I am able to hide my diary. I pin it inside my skirt. I stitch the heart of brotherhood into the lining. I am afraid Mistress L will find them, but I am spared. Now I am on the ship that takes me away. At first I worry it will be like when I am stolen from my parents. But I am allowed to sleep in quarters near Monsieur de G, so I may tend to him. Sometimes I may take air. There is food. No one is dies. You doing all right, Yvonne? Yeah. Okay. Um, Monsieur de G is Monsieur de Grand Pre. Mm hmm. And if I remember correctly, we've also met Mistress L, but I don't remember what the L stands for. Mm. Uh, okay. Monsieur de G comes to my quarters at night. At first, I did not. I did. I think it not proper, Jesus. But I know I am no one to refuse him. I cannot stop think from thinking of A. Did I betray him or he me? I am glad he cannot find me, but still I see his face in every man and sometimes wish it was him. I will try harder to be devoted to Monsieur de G. He treats me gently, although he does not have to. He brings me safety. I learned his name is P. Pierre, if I remember correctly. If I remember correctly, Aveline's dad's name is Pierre de Grand Prix. Mm. We arrive in New Orleans, or yeah, New Orleans. Monsieur de G says, I will not take my quarters among the other slaves, but in his house. I do not know what the others will think. I know I should only be glad for any comfort I am given. <sighs> P you asked right? me to become... Yeah. Okay. So, real quick. What we know about Aveline's mother and her father is only what we know about uh, from her father's perspective because the mother left at a young age, right? Um, and this is finally giving us her mother's perspective of that relationship. Um, obviously, it's uncomfortable and stuff, but from his own admissions in the earlier in the game and things like that, Monsieur de Grand Prix is very much was very much in love with her like to the point where th he accepted her daughter as his actual heir and things like that you know and he he's very much not like he's cringe but he's not as bad as he could be is how they is how the game paints him you know mm. um and while the relationship is very cringe overall, it's like in the, uh, I think Thomas Jefferson is the one I'm thinking of. Uh. Yeah, like it's very cringe, but not quite as bad as Thomas Jefferson it was. If I remember correctly from from stuff I've heard about him. But anyway. May 7th, 1746. First time she's actually put a date in her in her diary. Mm. 
P asked me to become his. Uh, I'll Google Placier? the word. I I'm assuming it's Placier. I feel I must accept his offer. It is my fate that unofficial wife is the only kind of wife I can be. Maybe I earned this fate when I betrayed A and his brothers, so I am lucky to accept. P treats me with more kindness than I deserve. I think I am truly fond of him. I have something to tell him as well. I am with child. I hope he will not be displeased. Yeah, okay. So I'm just getting like direct translations from French to English and that's not helping. Um, but apparently it's the closest thing he could actually do to marrying her. Mm -hmm. Page 14th, June 20th. So from uh, a year later, from May to June. My daughter is born. She is healthy and complete. My love for her grows in a way that makes me think I did not ever know true love before. She has P's eyes. We will call her Aveline. P was full of emotion at her birth. On seeing her, he falls to his knees. He says he is ashamed. He begs forgiveness for keeping me enslaved all this time. He vows to grant us both our freedom. Perhaps there is hope for the future after all. Halfway point. Ooh, this one's long. No. Mm? This one is long. Look at that. Yes. <laughs> I know. Okay. Sorry. Nove November 9th, 1749. I have not written in a long while. So busy have I been with Aveline and all the affairs of the household. How we have grown together as a family. And Aveline is truly the heart of our home winning the hearts of all who will meet her with playful nature and carefree smile. I should not have thought it possible that a daughter of mine could enjoy such a life of comfort and freedom. True, there are those who would taunt us with rude remarks in the street, but they are far outnumbered by friends. I know P's prominent position and success in trading are responsible, but still I am grateful every day. Not since I last saw my parents did I ever allow myself to imagine I would ever enjoy such happiness again. Things are looking a bit up for her. August 12th, 1750. Aveline continues to grow in health, intelligence, and beauty. How her father dotes on her. Our happiness is marred only by recent troubles with P's business. He returns home later and later, his brow more, fur more and more furrowed. But he seems to be confident that his investor, Monsieur de L, with his daughter, who visits frequently, will help see him through these turbulent waters. I tried to persuade P that we can make do with much less if that is required. If I remember correctly, this L is connected to the L that had previously owned Aveline's mother. If I remember October correctly. Mm. Sorry. October 2nd, 1750. Sometimes I worry about that daughter of mine. For all her charm and wit, she is rather attractive for a girl her age. Not that word. Can hardly... Oh, she's rather active. Jesus. Thank God. Yvonne, she's you, rather... Yvonne you let you, you let you, because I mean, she's like three. Yeah. Ish. Um, but yeah. also, you know, like, um, you let your buy slip a little bit. No, uh, I was just worried that something terrible was going to happen. Anyhow. Oh. It's rather yeah. active for a girl her age. Active for a girl her age. We can hardly go to market without her running off after the dogs and chickens or climbing the crates of dry goods. I tell her she must stay by me lest I lose her for good, and she takes it for a game, giggling wildly and running free again. Uh, exactly what happened when she lost her mother uh, way back when. Her mother was walking through the market, Aveline ran off chasing some chickens, and then when she tried to find her mother again, she couldn't. Mm -hmm. January 8th, 1751. At the market today, the fishmonger asked me the strangest question. 
It seems his wife heard from the wife of the baker that Mademoiselle de L was seen dancing on the arm of P yesterday's, yesterday's Eve at a Mardi Gras party. I told him she must have been confused by the masks. P worked well into the night, still preoccupied with his business. It seems a new opportunity is on the horizon. March 15th, 1751. I received Mademoiselle de, 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 Mademoiselle de L to tea today. They don't make it easy, do they? No. They just dis she displayed a great curiosity about the house and all its artifacts, and took great pleasure in hearing Aveline demonstrate her piano lessons. Imagine piano lessons. Never did I envision such an indulgence for a child of mine, and yet she takes to them as a fish to water. And we've seen her playing the piano. I have had a shock. P is to be married officially to the daughter of Monsieur de L. What is to become of me and Aveline? I would, free I would flee right now in the night, but I know without P's protection, the risk of capture is too high. If I were re-enslaved, no, I cannot even think of it. There must be some mistake. One life cannot contain so much sorrow as this. Monsieur de G, I will not call him P now, has married the madame. He insists nothing need change between us, but he is blind. Already everything has changed. Aveline and I have our own private quarters in the mansion, and the madame fancies that she employs me as her, for, as her personal handmaid. How she is able to support my presence with the gossiping tongues, tongues of New Orleans lapping always at our door, I do not know. Still, I dream of fleeing, but Aveline loves her father so. I cannot wretch her from him as I was stolen from my parents. If I'm mathing correctly, at this point, Aveline is about five. Mm. January 19th, 1756. So she's about six-ish. The madame has taken a rather curious interest in me. She thanks me if it's, I, I fail. Effusely. Effusively, Effusively. 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 I failed too, she so it's fine. She thanks me effusively for every small favor, though I am in her employ, and she sits for hours as I worked on the mending, asking me question after question about my treatment in St. Dominique. She is surprisingly knowledgeable on the subject, and is even familiar with the name of M. However, I wish to detest her for the ruin she has brought me. Uh, I always find myself compelled to answer, beyond the politeness I owe her as an employer. This is when the diary pages start to imply that this L is related to the L that had previously owned her. Um, even though they have not explicitly said as much. Um, <clears throat> and we know at this point that this L is the woman that is the stepmother of Aveline. Who, whom we've seen and has helped us free slaves and such throughout the course of the game. A year later. March 7th, March 7th, 1757. The madame is in contract with a great many traders' wives. Contact. Who have a great, oops, contact with a great many traders' wives who have a great many things to say about the shape of hats and the price of cotton. I strain <laughs> to hear news of brotherhood or even to read it between the lines. But thus far, I have, but thus far, I have not been rewarded with any information that can confirm or deny me my continued safety here. April fourteenth, seventeen fifty-seven. The madame told me the strangest thing today. She said the wife of a trader whose associate was recently near Saint Dominique heard tell of a story that a certain voodoo hung. Hungan, I think is how it's pronounced. Hungan. I think. Going I by think. the. Mm. 
Sorry. Going by the name of M, had been seen embarking shipbound for La Louisiane. Isn't that strange? She asked me. What could a man like that possible want in New Orleans? What could he possibly be looking for? I fear I know the answer too well. It is me. A man like that possible want to New Orleans? I'm pretty sure that's a Ubisoft typo because she uses the word possibly literally a sentence later. <laughs> yeah. May, May 1st. 1st. 1757. Sorry. This is very hard to write. Almost impossible. Tonight I leave New Orleans. Madeline, bless her soul, has sworn to love and raise Abilene as her own, and to see to her education and protection, at least it, until it is safe for me to return. Using her contacts, she has found a place for me in Chichen Itza, where I will find both safety and employment. Pause. Once the threat... Hmm. Sorry. Chichen Itza is the place in Mexico that Aveline has gone and found her mo and later and in the game and finds her mother. Madeline is the first name of the wife of Aveline's dad, who I believe her maiden name is Lafayette. I could be wrong about that. I don't remember for sure. Um, it's what my brain keeps saying every time I see the L. Um, so, yeah, sorry, carry on. Once the threat is passed, has passed, I will return. If I did not believe it would be so soon, I do not think I could live with myself. I leave my daughter now, knowing it is the only way to keep her safe, the only way I can ever see her again. I left the heart with her for safekeeping, though she does not know it. 1757. So this is about, Aveline is about 10. Which is, so this is leading up to the flashback we see at the beginning of the game where her mother leaves and stuff like that. Um, and uh, it's like at least 10 or 20 years later that her her mother find uh, that she finds her mother. So soon does not happen. Five more pages. I do not know the date. But for the grief that haunts my every moment, I am well here in Chichen Itza. Monsieur de F gave me a comfortable welcome and work in the community he is building. They are men of science here, undertaking a great archaeological excavation in the name of finding sacred ruins and discovering history. I do not have to hide my writing here. It is encouraged. They have provided me a new book, the old one that I left behind. For what purpose can the past serve me here? I discovered something curious at the work site today. The artifacts we unearthed bear a striking resemblance to the heart of the Brotherhood. A chill passed through me when I saw the first shard. I do not want to demean the kindness that has been shown me here, but I can't help but wonder what is the true purpose of this excavation, and who are my employers behind their smiles? Oh, how I wish the madame would send news from New Orleans. I miss Aveline so terribly, and we and wish to leave this place the moment it is safe. I have been promoted to forewoman, so I know they do not detect my suspicion. But every day I grow more concerned. I do not like the greedy glint in D.F.'s eyes when he demands to know why more artifacts have not yet been found. Still no word from the madame about Aveline. Does my daughter even remember my face? The de F that she keeps mentioning is the uh, is one of the guys that Aveline has murdered at, in, at this point in the game, named De Ferrer. He is a Spanish uh, man who runs the Chichen Itza uh, settlement. I believe I have discovered the artifact they seek. To hold it is to sense its power. It is a piece of a disc, one part of a puzzle requiring the companionship of two or more others. One I am sure I know already. The other I sense I have seen it before. But where? The answer eludes me. It does not matter now. I have hidden the shard. They will not find it. The whole will never be assembled. 
I realize now I was foolish to trust the madame. She is not who she says she is. Her knowledge sprang not from the gossip of traitors' wives, but from some direct source. She is not of the Brotherhood, but she is something else, equally sinister. I fear what harm may come to my daughter, to what length and to what purpose she may have been manipulated. Last page. At last, the F. <laughs> Tires of the my F? <laughs> What the F? Sorry. He has banished me from my work and from the community. I will seek some hiding place. As long as the F controls the port, there is no chance of escape. These people see all, know all. So yeah, what we know now is that, and what these pages have just revealed to us is that Aveline's stepmother is a, is probably a Templar. If she's not of the Brotherhood, but of something else akin to it, it almost has to be the brother, the Templars. Thank you for that, Yvonne. I greatly appreciate you doing that. It did not feel right me reading them myself. <laughs> okay, my check will. Be, I will accept it in yeah. my name. Send it through the mail. Yeah. Your bill. Uh, yeah, bill PayPal. me. It's fine. Yeah, mm -hmm. bill. Bill me on PayPal. Request the payment on PayPal. It's fine. Okay. Okay, I'm leaving now. Bye. Okay. Bye. <laughs> and Jamie immediately died. Um, excuse me. Excuse me as I choke on my own spit. Alrighty. We might be finishing the game today. As a note, we might be. Um, hold on, there is one thing I need to check first. <laughs> Since it's on our way to our destination anyway, just gonna... sprint my way through here. Oh, I didn't. Uh, hold on. One moment. There we go. All right. I was still sharing my screen to the Discord. <laughs> Oops. All right. Actually. Uh, database people. Aveline de Grand Prix. There's Ferrer, the De Ferrer, the de F. There's A, Mr. Agate, the Lyle, not not Lafayette, the Lyle, Madeline de Lyle. Um, Philippe, not Pierre, Philippe Olivier de Grand Prix. There's the mother, Jean. Uh, I'm surprised that Baptiste doesn't have any tree. Considering he's one of the people we murdered. <coughs> I'm also surprised that Mackendall does not have its own his own entry. But regardless. So yeah, I did remember those names most like mostly correct. The people were correct, the names were like 50% wrong. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Could be worse. Hey, fellas, don't mind me. Just there's a citizen E near. Really I think I know right where it is, too. So I'm going to. I remember correctly. It's up in the bell tower. Erudito. Erudito. You know they are lying to you. Yes, I do know that. And I also know that because I have future knowledge, you're not much better. 
Oop, oop, oop. Target located. Now time to shank this random not real woman. Did you leave? I would have married you if I could. You know my arrangement with Madeleine was his business. Now she convinced me. If the law was different, how, how can you ever forgive me? I don't know, Papa. So that that. Uh, cut, edited ver uh, unedited version of the edited meeting she had with her father earlier uh, last stream where we find out that he's dying and I said he's probably being poisoned um, <clears throat> he just revealed that the reason why he married uh, Madeline Delisle was because of business um, and that he would have married Aveline's mother if he could have um, and that she convinced him that what he did was for the best. So she, so Madeline Delisle whole ass manipulated things. Which sounds very, very Templar. Because it is a very Templar thing. <laughs> Now then, on to our destination. Curiosity, Yvonne, audio is coming through okay on stream, right? Assuming you're still there and listening. Actually, before I go that way, let me... I'm pretty sure I've unlocked everything that I can at this point, but I want to double check just to be sure. Stop. Drop. And roll. Stop. Drop. And roll. <laughs> All right. Just confirm. Owned, owned, owned. Equipped. Owned, owned. Owned, 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 owned. Equipped. Owned, 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 owned. Oh, I need a bullet. How dare. That's right, I shot somebody. Alright. Owned, owned, equipped, owned, equipped. Okay. And that's trade system. Something I discovered that I didn't actually know until uh, this weekend about this game is that um, some of the things you wear do actually affect gameplay elements. Equipped, 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 equipped. Okay. <coughs> By which I mean. Not any of these. <clears throat> Sorry. But if I wear this dress, it cuts in half the amount of in-game money I spend to bribe officials. The bribe soldiers. Um, cuts that number in half. And... If I wear this hat, well, actually, if I wear this hat, I will not be attacked by random by the alligators in the bayou. And if I wear this hat, I uh, then it's all uh, then all of uh, supplies costs are halved. I believe you get a discount on supplies, not on weapons and stuff, but specifically like the bullets and the darts and the things like that. The alligator hunter hat and the assassin hood. And the default hat don't do anything. But 
one, I'm wanting to keep this to the default costumes as much as possible. And two, um, I'm at a point financially in the game, as you can see in the bottom left hand corner. Uh, actually, you might not be able to see very well. Uh, I have a lot of money in the game is basically what I was about to say. Um, and that means that I don't need to worry about having discounts and stuff like that. <laughs> So, I wouldn't be surprised if the special unlocked slave outfit, uh, the Chichen Itza outfit, does uh, does something as well, uh, and the Bayou assassin outfit does something. I wouldn't be surprised if if either of those things were the case. Um, however, I do not know what they do, and I've not been able to find it online. Aveline, Gerald, he is back. Vasquez, the company man. Have any of your informants seen him? No. Aveline, since last week I have lost two of my men. Killed. Poisoned. <sighs> this is his work. I must find him. Perhaps he will attend the Capitan's ball this evening. Shall I confirm your attendance? Oui. Thank you, Gerald. And, um, Aveline, I... You will need someone to accompany you. I don't suppose. Gerald, are you asking to accompany me? Uh, well, we oui. <clears throat> for um, a blending purposes, I believe it would be. Of course, of course. Business, of course. Of course. Of course. Strictly business. But not too strict, I hope. Yo, girl, calm down. Like they're adorable, but honestly. <clears throat> Honestly, I I like her vibes when she's interacts with Connor can, canonically better. But that does not mean I necessarily ship her and Connor and things like that, you know? It's complicated. Oh, it's night. I should probably put my parasol away. <clears throat> Revolution! <laughs> what a noble concept! Of course, war is always good for business. Particularly a war that's not in our territory. The good Spanish governor provides the goods. I will lay them to my associates in the bayou. And they handle the... transfer. Completely bloodless. For me. <laughs> so he, his associates in the bayou would be the smugglers, Elise. Ah, and... Roussillon. How does your father fare? Stubborn as always. I look forward to seeing him on his feet soon. You must allow me one dance, that I may showcase your grace in your father's stead. That Aww. is very kind, Monsieur de saint Maxin. And if you could perhaps waltz me by your esteemed associate in the blue cravat, I have a business opportunity I'd like to put before him. Evelyn, always so serious. Nothing like my daughter Marie Félicité. I kind of, because this is a party, I kind of wish I'd actually put on one of the uh, other colored dresses rather than her normal one, but nah, you know, oh well. Up to her. Oh, do you think I should marry? Whichever of us is the best dancer. You would have me Not how that works. All of you. I shall be exhausted. Please, senorita, allow me to save you the trouble. You need only dance with me. <laughs> Marie Felicite, I thought that the saint Maxon girls only had eyes for governors. Now, who is this? Senorita, give us your name, that we may know how to address the fairest woman at the ball. Fair? I think not. But still, your complexion is big. <coughs> Please, Signorita, allow me to complete your dance card. I'm afraid it's already full. That is simply her way. Racism. Have you heard? She prefers her father's warehouse to tea parties. Never calls on any of us. And her complexion? <laughs> of course she's a bit 
Yep. I, no, I can't target her. To, I was going to try to pick, pickpocket her. <laughs> you talk about my mother, bitch. You need the uniform. He is no true military man. I assure you. Twice the recruiters have approached me, uh, claiming to offer me promotion if I'll serve in his secret unit. Uh, but I don't trust it, no, senor. Good man. We could use more young men like you, with a head on their shoulders. Good evening, senorita. Uh, you look familiar. Uh, were you at the governor's dinner party last week? I'm so sorry, I don't remember your name. Perfectly understandable for a man with such important affairs as yours, Capitan. Thank goodness for your service in the colony. The thanks is all mine, senorita. Will you allow me to express it with a dance? Why, certainly, Capitan. I should warn you to be careful, senorita. Even here at this delightful party, the danger is present. All soldiers are not what they appear. We were just discussing a terrible man. How scandalous! Is he here tonight? He is, at this moment, seated at a secluded table. Until the gavotte, Capitan. I shall think of nothing else. Why, I do believe the minuet is the next dance, Senor Vasquez. Si, si. Can we retire somewhere private to discuss it? Si, si. Lead the way. Oop, that's a wall. Fetchingly draped against the wall. Blah, 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 blah. One moment. Refilling my cup here. Okay. Now, 
I also need to run to the bathroom. So we're going to take this brief moment to take a break. I'll see you guys in a bit.
Hello and welcome back. Uh, let's get back on into this, shall we? All right. All right, let's get to Monsieur Leblanc. Monsieur Blanc. Who appears to have already left. Uh oh. Madame Hi, Mom. Aveline, I did not know you were attending. I came only to find you. How could you? A ball with your father on his deathbed. I save your words. It is too late. He is gone. Papa. No. Bad face. I'm so sorry, but you had to know with your circumstances that he could not leave you anything. Of course, my house remains open to you. I care not about his will, only that he has gone. His business is in my name, but I consider it yours. The law has no place between us. He's such a good man. So... She still has a place to live, and her, bo her not boyfriend boyfriend is still making sure she's taken care of and got her employment and stuff because she's got a much better head for business than he does. Firm. Okay. Ooh, let's go ahead and pick that up. And that. And that. Ooh, that is a pretty watch. Each of these pocket watches are gorgeous. Oof, beautiful pieces. All pocket watches have been collected. Dueling pistol! All right, let's go to the weapon shop. Ba -da -da, ba -da 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 -da. Nearest one is up here, actually. Okay. Ba -da 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 -da. Ba -da -da -da. Get off the corner, Aveline. All right, fuckers, don't mess with me. I'm not in the mood. All right. Bada boom. Bada boom. Bada boom. Bada boom. Oh, supplies. Pistols. All right. The pretty pistol. All right. Let's compare it to this. All right, so it, it, ha it does better short range damage, better long range damage, but you it takes only it reloads after one shot. Uh, much better long range damage. Um, honestly, I use it so infrequently that yeah, I'm gonna actually keep this one. I use the pistol so infrequently. All right, let's. All right, I believe that actually is all of our, I'm gonna swing by here, but I believe that's all of our collection stuff. I believe we have all the weapons, all the clothes, all of the, uh, that way all the collectibles all the weapons all the clothes all of the uh, upgrades etc etc 
Oh, let me check. Let me check something real quick. All right. Here. Down. Okay. Hold on just a second. Clearing some notifications. Ugh. Okay. Alrighty. We only have one more citizen E, and that's not for a while, and that's not for till the end of the game. So we are in the final stretch. I think I'm just gonna go until the game is done tonight. Because we are so incredibly close. You know? Incredibly close to done with the game. Uh, upgrade pouches. Yep. Oh, wrong thing. And like I said... Uh-huh. And... Yeah. Oh, just a second. Gotta send a message on my phone real quick. If you don't mind. Okay, and we're back. Sorry about that, y'all. Damn it, go away. Why is the game not showing up? There we go. Ugh. Luckily, we were in the middle of nothing, really. We were just, I was just running around. We saw the Citizen E and stuff like that. We didn't really miss anything. Um, conspiracy. The Templars don't want me revealing the truth about this game. News from the North. Go North in search of the company man. Although the reconstruction of our network has required an investment of several years, the help of our American friends means we can now reach further than before. One of our newest informants sends word of a loyalist in New York who might, with a little pressure, unmask the company man. Please, go to New York and find your brother Connor. I have enlisted his help in locating Officer Davidson of Lord Dunmore's Ethiopian Regiment. We heading up north to go see Connor. Aveline paid a heavy price for killing Vasquez. Whom she learned was not the elusive company man. Unable to be with her father in his dying hours, she begins to doubt her course of action. Her loyalty to the Brotherhood falters. And we also saw a Citizen E uh, scene in which it revealed that... Don't you fucking do it. Don't you fucking do it, oh, uh, Twitch. Or OBS or my internet. Don't do it. I see you debating. Don't do it. Fucking hell. Um. Anyway, uh, we saw a citizen E in which it revealed that, uh, her father in a uh 
fever dream of his uh from his death throes um revealed that he only married Madeline Delisle for business and because she manipulated him into it and that he really 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 wanted to stay married to Aveline's mother and properly marry her 1777 New York years pass business prospers but the company man remains at large finally an informant tip prompts a great voyage All right. Uh, and Aveline is now up in New York. Up to New York. New York. Connor! I'm Aveline de Grand. Your brother from New Orleans. Yes. Achilles told me you would come. I seek a loyalist, Officer Davidson, of Lord Dunmore's Ethiopian regiment. That regiment passed through here. Look at the destruction they left. Their trail leads this way. We will follow them carefully. Over there, through the trees. A trap. Keep after the sentry. I will hold off these men. <sighs> okay, real quick. Yvonne, are you still... Am I, is my stream coming through okay? Because on my phone, it keeps loading and glitching and lagging, and I don't know if it's my phone and or if it's actually my stream. Coming through fine? Okay, good. All right. So we know that in Connor's storyline, this is obviously after or before Achilles dies in Assassin's Creed 3. All right, so let's chase this fucker. Catch the sentry. Dude is barely jogging. He's not trying whatso fucking ever. Unhand me. One chance to keep your life. Where is Davidson? Who? Come on, time's up. He's in the fort. That was easy. Why is it you call yourselves loyalists again? Easier to be loyal in the safety of the fort than out in the snow with a knife to your neck. Run home now and don't let me see you again. You won't be able to run then. Yes, ma'am. Why face? <laughs> Why face? To the fort. We climb. Climb the waterfall in less than a minute. If I, oh, the voice? Oh, the... Okay.
was in the groin. Also in the groin. Dang, Aveline is brutal. Loot this, because I absolutely need the money. Okay, so I can't go that way. This way, this way it is. Welcome back. Um, so you said the voice. I'm assuming you mean the voice of the guy who Aveline held the knife to. Um, meanwhile, Aveline whole on, a whole ass yeet, like slammed a hatchet into two guys' across? junk. Can I get across? Can I get across? Come on, Connor. Yeah, a lot of the voice acting in this game could be better. Like, just in general. However, it kind of makes sense because this was not we'll find a way in. I will go yes, around and divert attention. Okay, cool. Thank you. Um But yeah, this game was not quite meant to it didn't quite have the budget that the other games had, which is why it came out as a mobile game on the PSP originally. Curious, what's this way? Soldiers, okay. Hello, sir. Let's just shank you there. Thank you very much. Enter the watchtower. Be a little bit stealthier, shall we? And pop. This is fine. Okay, fine. All right, fine. Come here. Ow! God damn. Okay. British? And working for my enemy who would enslave you? I'll say something to Ryan. Ha! The loyalists have guaranteed my freedom. I will fight for it and win it for myself. Meanwhile, the slaves and the poor are targets in New Orleans, and you play the hero in New York. Who do you serve? And do you really think yourself free? Charity should begin at himself, Miss Aveline. All right, time to rent, uh, time to uh, wreck you all. 
Ouch. All right. Connor, that was a hell of an explosion, man. You all right out there, Connor? the cracks in the wall Jamie just you know come on come on Aveline there you go ah damn He goes with very explosive looking barrels on the back. Oh, yep. Uh huh. Yep. I had hoped it would not come to this. Now, in death, eternal freedom. You mock me. I chose my destiny. That is real freedom. Perhaps one day you will know it too. I... Who is the company man? <laughs> the answer has been in your own backyard all along. Just open the... Your eyes. <sighs> Did you find what you sought? We, oui. and much that I didn't. Connor, are you always certain in the means and ways of the Brotherhood? I trust my own hands of course travel safely if wise words from connor turns me <laughs> then you are on the right path wise words from connor damn i just got ten thousand bucks for that George Davidson gave just enough clues as to the identity of the company man. It is with a heavy heart that Aveline returns home. That moment when it's LeBlanc. The guy who's been helping her. Truth uncovered, the, uh, the logical conclusion awaits. All right, I know we just had a, uh, an internet outage a bit ago, but I have to run to the bathroom really badly, so I'll be right back, y'all. Sorry about that. Okay. Today's stream has been hell. Okay, it's fine. This is fine. All right, I'm gonna swing by this 
smuggler right here pick up some bullets supplies okay this is fine Um, I was going to say something. I think there's another DLC in which Aveline interacts with Connor. I think. Um, unless that was it. I don't, I don't recall. I do not recall. Um, I'll need to check. Um, actually, let me do that real quick. Okay, yes, that was that was the DLC. That was the DLC, the additional content. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. All right. I just wanted to have a quick check. All right. Cuz we are going to very quickly to the end game. Sequence nine is the final sequence and they only have like one or two memories each. All right. Y'all ready for this? Ba -da -da -dun -dun -dun. Harpsichord, not a piano. What a pleasant surprise. I trust you had a safe journey? Safety? <laughs> what a quaint concept. Aveline, are you well? You may quit your maternal act, company man. I'm well aware of your true identity. <laughs> oh, Aveline, do not be so angry. You think that I do not know where you go when you climb through your window to the rooftops at night? How you play the dainty daughter to your doting father? How you pretend to blend with slaves of all people? As if you could conceal your true self from me. <laughs> My dear, sweet stepdaughter, you are alive today because I needed you. Because I still need you. For what? Sit down. Escape. Well, the escaping is not going to happen. <laughs> Girl, that ain't a rifle. That, don't you think? My men will kill you. 
then what will be left of your precious brotherhood? At ease. <clears throat> Look at us. Also, I love that it's on her hip too. How many years have we worked together for the slaves? <laughs> you kept them enslaved on your own terms, out of sight for your ill gain. You ended that, as was my intention. Monsieur de Ferrer had different ideas. He perverted my peaceful colony into something ugly. You had to kill him. I owe you gratitude. I don't believe you. Avelyn, I love you. I raised you as my own. I was unable to bear children, but you brought life to my life. My whole life you lied to me. I am sorry. It was necessary. A mother's duty is to protect. But look at me now in the light of truth. You, who know so well the pain of a life lived in secret, shrouding your power in petticoats and lace, pretending obedience to men who deny you the right to your own abilities. Am I really so strange to you? I needed you to quash the terrorist elements in my organization. I need you still. I cannot let the assassins waste your talents. You are too valuable to me. As a tool to manipulate? I know you have been frustrated. Agate, I disobeyed. De Ferrer would still live if he had his way. You see, your aims match mine. Join me, Adli. Finish what you started. Following a confrontation with the company man, Madeline Delisle, her beloved stepmother, Aveline finds herself confused and alone. She journeys to the bayou to seek Agate's counsel and test her own faith in the Brotherhood. Agate! The student returns. Why? What use have you suddenly found for old Agate? I have discovered the identity of the company man. What? Did you not kill him years ago? That was not the company man. <laughs> you ignored my warning, and now you see your error. It was your responsibility to know as much as mine, Agate. I was a child when you brought me into the Brotherhood and made me an assassin. You pretended to protect me, to root out the enemy. And all along, my own stepmother, Madeleine, was the company man. <sighs> Iniquity runs in the family. Agate, stop! Not to mention that he's probably still extremely salty at her mother for one, leaving him, and two, betraying him by stealing the heart of the Brotherhood from him. Recover your senses. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna use an actual weapon. Take no damage. <laughs> Immediately failed. I immediately failed. Take no damage. Agate, stop! Recover your senses. No. It cannot be. Agate. What have you done to me? The order is the locket you wear. I know Take no damage. Once again, immediately failed. I immediately took damage again. Ah, come on. I know I can do this. I've done it before. It's like I'm fighting the mentor of assassins. Recover your senses. 
I'm holding my button. Not the game ignoring the fact that I'm holding the defense button, but you know, whatever. That one's on the game. That one is on the game. Agate, stop! Recover your senses. No, it cannot be. Agate. Okay, hold on. What have you done to me? Okay, I'm gonna let myself take damage because I want to see if it actually counted as me having taken damage. Or do that. I mean... Come on. Hit me. Okay, so yeah, I did already take damage at some point. Um, so yeah, let's restart. failed once again oh god okay Agate, stop. and for the record the reason why i'm obsessing over getting this right is because we are so close to the end i don't want to have to do this off stream you know i want to get this right now aveline no. aveline dear I need you to dig in here. Agate, stop! Recover your senses. No. It Success. Be. Okay. Agate, what have you done to me? The order is the. I know it hit me. I heard the kathunk. He hit me in the faded screen. <laughs> that was cheap, game. That was cheap. Agate, stop! Recover your senses. No, it cannot be. I heard it again. And when it pops, uh, what? When it pops up saying, uh, when it popped up in the corner there. It doesn't say the second one, which means I already failed the second one. <sighs> no, it cannot be. Agate, stop. Recover your senses. Okay. What if I just run away? No. It cannot be. Stop hitting me. The f the screen fucking Agate. fades. What have you done to me? Okay, well that time it fucking okay. Again, I'm hyper fixating on getting this right because I don't want to have to do it again later because we're so close to the fucking end of the game. No. Bitch! <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> Honestly, as soon as she starts to say, no, it cannot be, and it's green fades, they need to make it that she does not actually take damage. Oh, well. Agate, stop. Recover, your, Recover senses. your senses. I'm just gonna run away. No. There we go. Be. Okay. Agate. All right, so I'm actually gonna swap to that. 
eat that. Have you done for me? Come here. Come on, guys. I have immediately failed. Okay, so I'm gonna run away again. Again, just gonna yeet myself away from Agate. Stop! Recover your senses. No. There we go. No. It, it cannot be. be. Agate. All right, I'm actually doing? gonna keep the hidden blades equipped, but I am going to pull that up again. Come on. There you go. Let's go. All right, next. The locket you wear. <laughs> I know it well. But you. If she comes back, she'll deal with me. I made a little bit of progress. Agate, stop. All right, sing Recover it with me now. You all know the words. No, no it, cannot be. it cannot be. Agate. What have you done to me? What have you done to me? The order. All right, fuckers, let's go. The All right. Okay, I'm actually gonna replace the pistol with. Okay, that's fine. Does your conscience attack you? I got it. Stop. That day, when the sailors attacked you. I should not have intervened. I thought you had the spirit of a warrior, like your mother. But you only take after your father, that waxy, pale slave master. You have no right. Stop right there. Let's not be so different. Come on, drop another bomb. All right. No, it's an illusion. I don't want to kill a got there. You in the No, you are mistaken. A poisonous deception. Nothing more. No! I got it. Stop. That day when the sun Oh, hey. <laughs> Yay. Yay for I for common you. sense fucking uh for common sense fucking, uh, for common sense fucking. Checkpointing, that's the word I'm looking for. Spirit of a warrior, like your mother. But you only take after your father. That waxy, pale slave master. Hello, sir. Let's just pop that down. And now you. All right, next. Pop one of these down. You want to fight? Get fucked. No. A poisonous deception. Let's stay away from these guys for a bit. And then pop one down. Just open your eyes. I 
Ate. It doesn't have to be like this. The shards of the Chichen Itza disc. Work with me. Tell me what they are for. I told you never to speak to me of that. The knowledge, it will destroy us all. <laughs> And without it, we will continue to stumble blindly towards what? Not towards. Away. <laughs> Put it from your mind. Mentor, do not force my hand. The Agate who trained me is a man of truth and courage. I know he still lives within you. Let him out again. <laughs> What have I wrought? I should have stayed with your mother. You should have been my child. Raised as a daughter. Not twisted into this... ...monster. Go now, Agate. Run! And promise never to return. You would bid me a coward's slow, pointless death? As you did Uyoa! I will not live with the dishonor! I... Agate! No! She grabbed his necklace trying to stop him. Agate's failure as an, as an assassin and his lack of trust in Aveline leaves her completely adrift. She returns to Madeline, ready to embrace her stepmother's cause. <laughs> I did it! I have done as you asked. He is dead. And the disc... swear to uphold the principles of our order and all that for which we stand? I do. To never share our secrets nor divulge the true nature of our work? I do. And to do so from now until death, whatever the cost? I do. Then I welcome you into our arms, sister. Together we shall usher in the dawn of a new world. One in which our hands will ensure that all things find their proper place. My daughter, you are one of us now. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May the Father of Understanding guide us. And I'll be right back while it goes through the credits. Wait a second, what's this? He says, knowing exactly what this is. quick just to explain a little bit um as a reminder throughout the course of this game the citizen e stuff has been removing and revealing the uh 
filters and editing put onto these memories by the Templars who've released these memories as a video game within the mythology of Assassin's Creed. So, yeah. And so every time there's a Citizen E that shows up, you kill the Citizen E, which is a not actually citizen, citizen, a not actually citizen citizen, that English, um, that uh, releases the truth of the code, uh, the truth code, the truth, the truth, the truth. Just to check, Yvonne, you are still there, correct? Okay, good. Because I see you're playing Final Fantasy XIV, and I want to make sure that uh, you're actually, you know, paying attention, because this is literally the end of the game right here. Hold that thought for a second. Yeah, because I'm cleaning up my desk. Just a quick bit. Take, don't take any damage. All right, hold on. Okay, I can only kill. All right, I'll have to. Damn it, that's not the button I wanted. Uh, remind me, is it F? Yes. Dude was a mile away from me and hit me. We start last checkpoint. That was Madeline. Why? You can blame Chichen Itza and De Ferrer, but I see through you. My daughter. No. <laughs> daughter? Only two people can call me that. You banished one and sacrificed the other. Probably murdered the other, to be fair. You killed my father with your care and your tonic. Uh -huh. Why? Because he never truly loved you? And Jeanne, my mother, you stole her child, sent her away. You kept her enslaved even after my father had freed her. And now you attempt to return me to that fate. In the service of humanity, we work the purpose for which you were created. We were created. I purpose. I will not serve you. An assassin in the end. And her locket is the final piece. It will lead us through the war of generations. There will be great sacrifice. Great sorrow to end the enslavement of the human race. Now is the time to claim our freedom. Are you with us? I am. Eve will lead us. Eve will lead us.
It is done. Eve will lead us. In the original, um, not original. In the in the Assassin's Creed lore, Adam and Eve led a rebellion against the first civilization. By which I mean Eve led the revolution, and Adam was her right hand man. They led humanity to freedom from the first civilization, which had created them for the purpose of worker. Humans basically are like uh, flesh robots created by the first civilization to be a worker class for them. And uh, they made the mistake of making, them, uh, making humans sentient. They created AI, except biological AI. And that AI chose freedom and revolution. And, uh, yeah. It led to a war between the first civilization and the humans that lasted for a long time. And ultimately, it was because of that war that the first civilization and a lot of the humans were wiped out because of the solar flare that w that we learned about in Assassin's Creed 3. Because the first civilization was too distracted with the human war. They did not, the majority of them did not take the time nor believe that there was a problem until it was too late. And by the time that it was ready, only Juno and a few others had found, had managed to find a way to survive and Juno corrupted them. I think it was Juno. Yes, Juno. The people who made this game did a really good job for the fir for this for the first uh, mobile game of the Assassin's Creed series that then got adapted into a computer version. The reason why this is so glitchy in places is because it's adapted from a mobile game to a computer version. Um, the the controls are a little fiddly and things like that and it's largely because of that conversion and uh it'd be kind of like if they took pokemon and tried to st a pokemon game for the game boy and tried to update it without rewrite completely remaking the game you know Tried, it, it, like if they took Pokemon Red and instead of completely remaking it and rewriting the code and stuff, they just slapped some uh, some uh, HD uh, 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 textures on top of things and then forced it to work with a com on a computer. So like I give I give it the controls a pass, but Aveline is genuinely one of my favorite assassins. She, Evie, uh, she and Evie are tied for the the position, um, and uh, Cassandra is also another of my favorites. As is Aya. Note: all the femme assassins are kind of the best. Just just saying. Um, but Cassandra, I'm going to swap it over here just in case they decide to try to copyright strike me for the music. Um, Cassandra, uh, 
tech i don't count cassandra on the list because she's technically not an assassin because the assassins don't ex do, do not kind of not do not really exist yet and she's not really an assassin through the majority of her storyline um and i've not played valhalla yet i don't even own valhalla yet so i don't know how ivor stacks in my uh list of favorite characters But anyway, all the people who worked on this game right here did an amazing job. So uh, thank you all for hanging out with me and putting up with my bullshit and all of that. Um, I'm so sorry for all the technical issues that I've had today. Uh, hopefully the rest of the week is no is not nearly as bad um, <sighs> um <coughs> excuse me um but uh tomorrow I'll be playing more excuse me good lord um tomorrow I'll be playing more Assassin's Creed not Assassin's more tomb raider that's the one tomb raider chronicles uh and uh day after that will not be a stream normally the wednesday would be a watchdogs day but i've got shit going on so once again i will not be streaming on wednesday um unfortunately and then thursday <sighs> Because of all the internet issues, I may not be able to stream on Thursday either because um, uh, I called while the internet was down. I called the ISP and they might be sending a person out on Thursday and it could be anywhere between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. So we'll see if they show up while I'm supposed to be streaming, then I won't be able to stream. So we'll we'll play Thursday by ear. But I'm going to try to stream, but we'll see. Anyway. I don't remember if there's like an after credit scene or anything like that. Which is why I'm kind of letting the credits just go. Next week, on assuming next week is a normal week, on Monday I'll be starting... Oh god, we'll actually be starting four? I think I'll be starting Assassin's Creed 4 next week, finally. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, because there's some other game... There's the Assassin's Creed Chronicles trilogy that sprinkles throughout the next few games um like and i don't remember exactly where i decided i was going to play them what order i was going to play them in so yeah i'll either be playing one of them or i'll be playing ac4 um and yeah if it's ac4 we're going to be doing a lot of sea shanties A lot of sea shanties. Um, did you have a bit of a seizure? <laughs> Interrupted your own thought. <laughs> Oh, congrats. <laughs> oh, non-grats. So you want to try that again, Yvonne? Good luck and congrats. Okay. And lol, oh no.
A lot of people worked on this game. They all deserve their props. Oop. I didn't think it would just straight up kick me out. Bum, boom, bum, boom. Okay. All right. Let's look at the database DNA thing here. Complete, 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 complete. Oh. This is the DLC. So, A Fool's Errand is the original version of this. Connor's way. Shall we? We get to play Connor's version of events. Connor? I'm Aveline de Grand Prix, your brother from New Orleans. Yes. Achilles told me you would come. I seek a loyalist, Officer Davidson of Lord Dunmore's Ethiopian Regiment. That regiment passed through here. Look at the destruction they left. Their trail leads this way. We will follow them carefully. Over there, through the trees. A trap. Keep after the sentry. I will hold off these men. All right, let's see here. What's he got on him? He's got pistols. All right. Come on, guys. Ouch. Okay. Get fucked. Now I have to catch up with her. Oh, I missed Connor. I mean, Aveline is still is still amazing, but I missed Connor. Unhand me. One chance to keep your life. Where is Davidson? Who? Come on, time's up. He's you get to hear that amazing voice acting again, that Yvonne. Was easy. Why is it you call yourselves loyalists again? Easier to be loyal in the safety of the fort than out in the snow with a knife to your neck. Run home now and don't let me see you again. You won't be able to run then. Yes, man. To the fort. We climb. Oops, sorry, Aveline.
did this? The fuck? Can you get across? I love that it didn't include my sassing him. Can I get across? Can I get across? I think you need a, a throat lozenge, girl. Who did this? I think her voice glitched, in other words. Can you find a way in? I will go around and divert attention. I love how much more powerful the bow and arrow is in this game than in the actual game itself. Fine, I'll follow the path it wants me to take. Fine. Come on, fuckers, let's go. Ow, Jesus. Okay, hold on. I'll be right back, y'all. I have to pee. <laughs>
Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. All right, fuckers, let's go. You know what? Let's let's just put a little bit of distance between me and them for a second. Alrighty. Is that all you've got? One down. Want to fight? I am so terrified. What gets me down? <laughs> Stay down. Get fucked. And now we find out the origin of that kaboom that booped Aveline. Oh shit, I need a GTDFO. And now we're going to find out that Connor was the one who shot the explode uh, the cart. Ouch. Come on. One, two, three, four, five. I thought I killed six. One moment, the game glitched. Pretty sure the game glitched. That's not the button I wanted. Two, four, six. You're going to hell now. Pick this up. There we go. Ah, no, Aveline was the one who shot the thing. It just didn't show it originally for whatever reason. It probably glitched. Come to this now in death eternal freedom you mock me <clears throat> i chose my destiny that is real freedom 
Perhaps one day you will know it too. I... Who is the company man? <laughs> the answer has been in your own backyard all along. Just open the, your eyes. Did you find what you saw? We, oui. and much that I didn't. Connor, are you always certain in the means and ways of the Brotherhood? I trust my own hands. Of course. Travel safely. It's the arrival that concerns me. <laughs> then you are on the right path. Connor. Under misunderstood assassin. One of the reasons why I love this game is because it allows two of my favorite the interaction of two of my favorite uh assassins. It is going to Aveline and Connor. Evie's up there as well, as is I uh, as I said. And Cassandra is technically not an assassin. All right, so. All right, check, 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 check. Okay. I love the design of her hidden blades. Look at that etching in them. Oh, we already did that. Ten of a ten assassins coins, ten of ten of voodoo dolls, twelve of twelve alligator eggs, ten of ten jeweled brooches, ten of ten mine statuettes, ten of ten mushrooms. Check, 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 check. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, and thirty. Well, that's it from me for today. Um, thank you guys, as I said, thank you all for hanging out with me as I've played this game. Um, oh man. And like I said, next week we'll start a new Assassin's Creed game. Not entirely certain which one yet, but uh, we'll figure it out and when we do, You'll hear it from uh, me and my on my socials. Speaking of, uh, you can check out uh, if you go to the link tree here on screen, uh, you will see uh, links to uh, my YouTube where you can watch all my prior streams um, for free. Uh, you could go to you'll find links to my social medias where you can where you can follow me for updates. Um, links to my Discord where you can also get updates but also hang out with me and my friends like Yvonne who hopped into chat so graciously earlier um and read some stuff for me uh and then uh yeah also speaking of Yvonne uh you can check her out right up there and you can check out all these rest of these people who are also very amazing and check them all out I have even more suggestions in said link tree as well um so yeah, tomorrow we'll be playing some Tomb Raider. Uh, same bat time, same bat channel. 
And until then, remember to have empathy, be kind, be safe, love yourself and love everyone around you. And I will see you all next time. I love you all. Peace out.